Welcome to the Green CE Movie Series. This is part two of our case study, documenting the construction of the Health Sciences Education Building. 21 months after breaking ground, the Health Sciences Education Building is just five months out from completion. The project is currently tracking at the LEED Gold level, higher than the initial goal of LEED Silver. During design, the team used a series of software analysis tools to model the performance of the building. The result is a unique, energy-efficient building that has been shaped specifically for its site. Another thing that I really like is the copper panels. Um, what the architect's vision was was the uh, striations in the canyons up in Sedona and the red rocks and, and how the, uh, the sediment and stuff works in the rock formations and how do you turn that into uh, something like, that's malleable like copper and how do you do that? Um, anybody can build classrooms, anybody can build lecture halls, anybody can build um, uh, gross anatomy space. But to do it in such a way that does allow for the welcoming of all students, no matter where they are, no matter what they're doing, no matter how long they spend in the facility, you want them to have a good setting that just is conducive to learning. The key thing is what have you learned in the past and what can you take forward? The biggest battle we had on this project was, it, like the terms usually said, postage stamp site. Very small site with a big building. And so how do you manage waste in general? Uh, a lot of moving pieces, a lot of moving equipment, and then how do you find room to have four or five different 40-yard dumpsters? Measurement and verification uh, is being implemented on this project. It was, it was a really big part of this project. Uh, it was the University of Arizona actually requested that we put it in. It's, it's a great concept to do as is, but it's even better when the owner requests that, that they can do it. Actually, by having the commissioning agent on early and having the collaboration in place where we shared the construction schedule throughout the process and we, and we kept a open line of communication, started our meetings early in the construction process, we really had little impact from the commissioning schedule. What LEED does is it creates a framework to challenge those past ways of doing business. And it challenges us in those areas of consumption, reducing waste, and trying to help us design and construct more sustainably.